Stella sent me here to investigate a very useful acid and alkaline reaction. Now, I know it involves an alkaline substance called soda lime, but as for the acid, well, she says a man called Martin Sampson's producing that. The only trouble is, there's no sign of it. Now, you're obviously a diver. I don't get what that's got to do with acid and alkali chemical reactions. OK, I'll give you a clue. On my back, there's a device called a rebreather. It allows me to stay underwater for at least three times longer than an ordinary scuba unit. But in order to do that, I'm recirculating the gases that I'm breathing. It's a great piece of kit, produces very few bubbles. Wildlife photographers like it. NASA even trained their astronauts on it. Well, for me, here are all the bits and pieces of my rebreather. Well, it looks very different from the sort of diver's tanks you usually see. What's so special about this one? Well, that's right. When you normally go scuba diving, these fellas are used, huge cylinders, lots of air, but they're not efficient. Every time you exhale, they produce lots of bubbles, which scares fish, makes them difficult to photograph, and uh, also means that the air doesn't last very long either. So instead, we've got a rebreather, and this allows me to breathe air through this tube and it, I breathe it through the mouthpiece. When I exhale, the waste gas goes back down the tube and back into the set. When we breathe in air, our bodies use some of the oxygen in it and we then breathe out air containing the unused oxygen and the waste product, carbon dioxide. The rebreather allows the diver to rebreathe the unused oxygen, but not the carbon dioxide, which would be dangerous. It can do that because of this canister. Inside the canister are soda lime crystals, which turn universal indicator blue, showing that soda lime is a strong alkali. We have the soda lime crystals, which are reacting with the carbon dioxide, neutralising it. The carbon dioxide does not come back out of this spout here. Right, so if the soda lime, which is alkaline, reacts in some way with the carbon dioxide, that means that the carbon dioxide that we breathe out must be acidic. Well, there's only one way to check if that's the case. The universal indicator. And yes, my breath turns the indicator orange, meaning it has a pH of about three. So the carbon dioxide we breathe out is an acid. And we already know that the soda lime in the rebreather is an alkali. So we have a reaction. The acidic carbon dioxide and the alkaline soda lime react to give a salt plus water. But how safe is the result of this reaction? The salt is calcium carbonate, which is chalk and completely harmless. And the water actually comes back as water vapour in the rebreather and is rebreathed by the diver. That's useful because it helps to stop the diver from getting dehydrated.